Make sure that the coffee cans don't have a plastic wrapper around them like this one does this one doesn't it's just the way that it comes and like this one right here it had a plastic wrap around it and this one looks like it does and so you want to remove the caps from all the cans and then if any of them have the labels on there peel them off all right now that i have them all peeled off and uh, the caps off of them i'm going to spray paint them all and i just got some gloss you can get satin or whatever kind of finish that you want and i just got a couple of different spring colors and I'm just going to randomly do them. Make sure you do it outside in an open, well ventilated area. And what I'll do is I'll just show you one of them and then I'll just spray them all the rest off the camera. And you might have to do a few coats to cover the um, like you can see through here a little bit, so I'll just spray a little bit more. So I got this one all sprayed, and I'm going to spray the other ones with the other colors, and then you want to let them dry. I think it's like a say here it says you can handle it in one hour it will fully dry in 24 hours so I'm gonna let them dry for an hour and then I will be back with the rest of these painted all right so these pans or coffee pots have not completely dry but they're dry enough where I can add my plant so I just picked up some herbs and some strawberries and I'm just going to show you how I fill one of them on camera. So I have here a basil plant and what I'm going to do first is I have some potting soil that's for fruits and vegetables. I also use it for herbs and I'm just going to basically fill the pan about one fourth of the way just to get a nice base for the plant to sit in and there's a bunch of nandies flying around so you'll hear them We have a lot of parrots around here. So then, the way that I bought this is the um, pot that it comes in kind of dissolves into the dirt. I don't know how to explain it. It's just does it. And so I'm gonna fit this in and make sure I have enough sand and or soil in there. So I got it right about where I want it, and <coughs> this is the tricky part. I'm going to get some more soil, and I'm going to try to fill it up and then push the soil to the side so that way I can fit the plant in without making a huge freaking mess. I don't 
pack it in and I have it uh, about three-fourths of the way full and I'm just going to kind of make a groove in the middle to put the plant in. So I'm just packing the soil which is already wet on the sides. And then I'm going to sit set the plant in and if you have to dig a little bit deeper and just push some more soil to the sides push the soil back down and that's going to hold the basil in place and now I'm going to try and this can get messy so I'm just going to try to sprinkle some of this soil around the edges to fill the rest of it in and it doesn't have to look perfect because this is all going to break down anyways and then yeah it's already breaking down so you can kind of just push it in and then I like to keep these little sticks that come with the plant so I can remember which plants they are or if anyone's over they don't have to ask me what plant it is because I don't feel like telling them so I'll just keep that in there and then what I'm going to do is fill the rest of these up with my other plants. I got a strawberry plant, a poblano pepper plant, some mint, and some sage. And I got a whole other stuff over there. It's like peppers and basil and stuff like that so i'm gonna fill these all up and then i'll show you when i'm done all right so i am done filling these plants up and this is the finished product and it's a pretty neat idea to recycle to you know avoid waste and i just think it's just a cool idea so this concludes my diy for repurposing 10 coffee cans. If you did like this video and want to see more DIYs from me, give me a thumbs up or give me a comment in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!